Hey, 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 I'm Celine Dion singing My Heart Will Go On. No, actually not. I am Javi Moreno and I'm going to talk to you about how to launch a new instance on EC2 the professional way without light cell. We are going to go into the details in this session. Of course, probably in a real scenario, you are going to use the command line interface to do the same tasks that we are going to, to perform using the AWS console. But I think it is easier to understand what it is happening the first time if you do all the steps by using the console. You already know how to arrive here, so just log in into console AWS Amazon.com in your favorite account and let's find the VPC service. If you remember it correctly, the VPC service is nothing else but the network. I'm choosing, choosing Virginia just because of my convenience. You can read it here. And you will find that you already have one VPC. This is because any AWS account, when it is created, creates a VPC on each region. That VPC is usually then is not the best option to run your application and your instances. But in this case, we are, are going to to use it in order to make this tutorial uh, quicker, okay? Easier to, to follow. This is the name of the VPC, which actually ends in E7. And what we are going to do is just to check in a minute the subnets of the VPC. The subnets are the portions in which that VPC are divide, is divided. And actually, we will talk about subnets uh, another day. You can find, in this case, for, uh, four different subnets. And if I choose one of them, no matter, actually it does not matter which one, you will see how this subnet contains a root table that shows, contains a root that actually match any address not managed by the VPC itself, routing the traffic to the internet gateway. This is the way that this subnet is going to route the traffic from your instances to our to the internet. If this role is not present, you will not be able to connect to the internet from an instance residing inside this network. So remember the code of the subnet. It ends in five eight, and let's go to the BP, to the EC2 service. I can choose it here, but I can also find it with a searcher. And from this screen, it's really easy to launch a new instance by using this button. This will start the wizard that will allow us to, uh, to choose an AMI, which is, stands for Amazon Machine Image, which basically are the bits that the hard disk of the instance will contain when you power on when you power on that instance. I will select Amazon Linux, which is basically a Red Hat, a customized version of Red Hat. I choose this one. And here you can select the, the features of the virtual machine that you are going to start. We will talk about the details another day, but we keep this T2 micro instance which actually will provide you with not a really big machine, but you will have one virtual CPU and one gigabyte of memory, which is enough to launch our application. The next step is to configure the details. And we want to launch one instance on the default VPC. Do you remember? E7 is actually the only one here. And we are going to use the subnet that we have already checked because we want public, we want access to the public internet. Actually, in the default VPC, all the subnets has, have the rule that we have seen before. So all the subnets by default will allow you to connect to the internet if you launch an institute instance inside of them. But we keep the first one, and we make sure that we assigned an IP address. To the, to the instance that we are, we are creating right now. You can also, and actually it is interesting to do it, go to advanced details, open the, the 
rest of this option and place here a new small program that it is called the user data and it is really important because the first time that the machine the virtual machine starts will execute this program so this is a way to customize that virtual machine i actually have this program in another in another window so let me change from one window to another and copy it basically if you take a look here what we are doing in, with this program is to tell the computer the virtual machine that this is a shell script and that you want to get this file basically our demo of pokemon and execute it remember from the if you remember it from the last video this demo will start a web server in the port 8080 serving basically a pokemon in this case i can copy it go back and paste it here and then we will take a look at the storage of the new instance with 8 gigabytes uh, we should have enough space to install and to run our linux in volume our linux uh, virtual machine sorry so we go we advance to the add tags remember this is a really important step in the configuration of your machine because everything in the cloud should be tagged so you will be able later to search for it filtering the resources that you have we are going to create for example a pokemon demo a machine with the name pokemon demo demo the project is a let's say easy to demonstration and let's say that the offner is heavy by the way remember those tags are totally up to you so we can just because the sake of it we are going to create an additional tag with the name winky and the value pinky the next step is to configure the security groups and again the security groups are basically the configuration of the firewall of the instance so here we can choose a new security group and this is going to be a web server but in the next video we are going to connect to it using the administration port so we will create a security group called web server we will keep the opened the port 22 for everybody basically these patterns says that anyone from in, from the internet from any ip can connect to the port 22 if it has if he or she has the correct credentials but we will also add another rule but we will also add another rule to the port 80 because as we said before we want to connect to the application that we hopefully will launch using the custom data we just need to go to review and launch and when you press launch you will have to choose a key pair remember this is the way that you are going to authenticate yourself in this instance to administrate it against the basic rules of security we are going to ask aws to create a new key pair for us let's say that the name of the key, this key pair is going to be virginia and after giving a name to this key pair we can download it and keep this file for later use we will use this file in another video later now we are ready to launch the instance it will take a few minutes so i will press stop now in the video and i will keep the recording later now the instance should be launched we can take a look at it by clicking on this link with the id of the instance and we will check the status you can see how it is running and after two different checks uh, the virtual machines looks healthy we are going to try to connect to our server our uh, the web application that we have deployed on that instances on that instance and for that we can copy the public ap or the dns name i will go with the public ap here i take it with the control c and i will paste inside the location part of the browser a link 8080 
as the port because remember the program that we have executed is a talking to the internet using this port this door and after a few seconds okay Beartic is actually a really cool pokemon so the instance is up and the application is currently deployed in the next video i will show you how you can connect to that instance uh, to manage it but be aware that usually managing a web server is not a good idea because one interesting characteristic of any system is that you can redeploy any application at any moment and when you start to manage your servers to modify their configuration and you will not probably modify also the script that created that server and deployed that application and you will run in problems into problems if you want to get the a new copy of the same server again anyway we are just learning so we will connect to the new machine in the next video